TV Recapped here. Today, we will be talking about the first episode of American Horror Story Season 1. This episode is entitled The Rubber Woman. American Horror Stories is an anthology series of standalone episodes that delve into horror myths, legends, and lore. The episode starts with couples Michael and Troy singing to A Wider Shade of Pale on the car radio. Their daughter Scarlett is annoyed and tells the two of them to stop. The couple ignores their daughter's ramblings and continues enjoying themselves. Scarlett questions their taste in music, but the couple just makes fun of her. Scarlett then receives a text message from Shanti. She asks if Scarlett is at the new house yet. To this, Scarlett replies that they are almost there. She also adds that she can't believe that they will be living there. The house is dubbed by people as the murder house. The family arrives at their new home. The couple kisses each other and says home sweet home. As they enter, Scarlett stops and stares at the house. Hanging animal bones are seen as Scarlett goes inside their new home. Scarlett explores the premises of the house. She sees that many areas are still under renovation. Scarlett walks into her soon-to-be room as ominous music plays. Scarlett then walks into Michael and Troy as they make measurements. Troy asks her what she thinks. Scarlett says there are no ghosts sighting yet. Troy then tells her that there won't be because ghosts don't exist. Michael tells Troy not to say that again as it will destroy their marketing strategy. Scarlett expresses her concerns about the couple investing too much into this project. The couple then explains their plan of turning the house into a tourist attraction. They are all aware of the alleged history of massacres that happened within the place. Scarlett asks the couple if they are not concerned about deaths and curses that involve the house. Michael then says that ghosts and curses are not real. Troy then adds that the place just attracted the wrong folks. Michael tells Scarlett that they are just taking advantage of the rumors to make money. Troy apologizes to Scarlett as she didn't get a say in all of this. He then asks Scarlett if she is scared of the place. Scarlett then clarifies that she is more worried about the couple failing. She adds that they may end up homeless if this project fails. The couple explains to her that this is their dream. They then tell Scarlett not to worry because it won't be a failure. Scarlett agrees and hugs the couple. After the couple leaves, Scarlett receives a message from Shanti. Shanti asks her if she loves the place. She answers that she hopes the ghosts will kill her. In the next scene, Scarlett starts unpacking inside her new room. A red ball rolls towards her feet. She stops what she is doing and picks up the ball. She takes a peek outside the door and sees nothing. She puts the ball inside the box and continues to unpack. Another ball rolls towards Scarlett's room again. This time, the ball goes under her bed. Scarlett reaches out and picks up the ball. She then calls out to her dad and goes out of the room. Scarlett walks into another room to find where the ball came from. A closet door slowly opens and she walks towards it. She then sees the rubber man's suit. Scarlett takes the suit back to her room and quickly dresses in it. She looks at the mirror and admires the effect of the rubber suit on her. She then puts on the gloves and mask, completing the whole outfit. Scarlett walks in front of the mirror again to see her reflection. While staring at her reflection, she sees darkened eyes glaring back at her. She panics and takes off the outfit. Scarlett rushes outside and tosses the suit into the garbage can. Later in school, Scarlett listens to a lecture about the nature of the brain. She appears distracted as the class goes on. The teacher then asks for her opinion. Scarlett tells the class that shame is a better motivator than fear. Scarlett then explains the reason behind what she said. Some of her classmates are seen making fun of her. She catches the attention of Maya. After class, Scarlett walks towards her locker when Maya approaches her and seemingly flirts with her. Maya tells her that smart is the new perfect 10. Shanti approaches Scarlett and asks her what happened. Scarlett says that she is sure Maya is flirting with her. She also adds that she knows that she is a model. Shanti tells her that Maya might just be fooling around. Scarlett ignores this advice. In her room, Scarlett starts imagining getting intimate with Maya. She imagines the two of them kissing intimately. The fantasy turns violent as Scarlett starts choking Maya. This continues until Scarlett climaxes. In Scarlett's sleep, Rubber Man descends from her ceiling. As he grows closer, Scarlett opens her eyes and sees him. Scarlett screams and finds out that it was all a nightmare. The next scene shows Scarlett viewing Maya's social media profile. She then receives a message from Maya herself. They both talk about not being publicly out at their school. Maya invites Scarlett for a sleepover together with her friends. Scarlett expresses her concern about Maya's friends. Maya agrees that her friends can be a problem, but assures Scarlett that she will protect her. Michael and Troy continue remodeling the house. They uncover a mural on the walls of what used to be the music room. They then see Scarlett about to go out. Michael asks if she could help a bit. The couple then call Scarlett aside to confront her about the adult video she is watching. This has happened before, and Scarlett promised not to do it again. As it turns out, Scarlett watches even more disturbing material now. Scarlett is infuriated after finding out that her parents are spying on her. Michael and Troy express their concern about her tastes and that it may worsen in the future. The couple suggests that Scarlett should go a therapist. Scarlett refuses and argues with her parents. The couple then decides to restrict her internet and ground her for lying to them. Scarlett calms down and tells her parents that she has plans for a slumber party with Maya and her friends. 
Scarlett apologizes and agrees to see a therapist. She says that she is willing to do anything in exchange for allowing her to go to Maya's party. Michael and Troy explain their concerns to her again. Scarlett says she understands and walks out. During class, Maya starts sending Scarlett naughty messages. Scarlett looks at Maya after reading her texts. Maya smiles and winks at her. Later that night, Scarlett thinks about what she should wear at the slumber party. She checks out her closet and finds her current selection quite inadequate. She tries to check the internet and sees that she is locked down. Scarlett closes her laptop and notices her closet door opening. She then walks to it and sees the rubber man suit again. She dresses into the costume and her eyes blacken again. Scarlett then heads upstairs with the rubber man suit on and a knife in her hand. She enters her father's bedroom and scares the couple. The couple threatens to call 911. Scarlett reveals herself and laughs at her parents. The couple scolds her and asks her where she got the suit. Scarlett answers that she threw it away and thought they were the ones that got it back. Troy is infuriated and tells Scarlett to take the costume off. She refuses and tells the couple that they cannot tell her what to do and think about. Troy walks towards Scarlett to take the suit off himself. As Scarlett protests, she reflexively slashes Troy's arm. Scarlett apologizes, but Troy continues to scold her. She cries as she goes back to her room. The next day, Dr. Andy Grant sees the family about their concerns. She points out that watching adult videos is normal for girls of Scarlett's age. However, she tells them that only a tiny percentage is into violent material. Dr. Grant then explains that this is not a big deal. She, however, is more concerned about the violent act that happened the night before. Scarlett tells the therapist that it was just an accident that resulted from a prank. The therapist is not convinced and tells the family that the act was not on the same level as simple pranks. She feels that there is a cause for this kind of behavior. Michael and Troy then explain to the therapist that Scarlett was kidnapped when she was three years old. In the flashback, Troy gets attacked after putting Scarlett in the back seat of the car. The culprit drives off with Scarlett still there. The couple tells Dr. Grant that Scarlett was missing for 10 days. Scarlett does not remember anything from that incident. Michael adds that she did not have any scratch on her. The kidnapping, however, made the couple overprotective with their child. Dr. Grant then expresses her worry about the house. She asks Scarlett if she heard the stories about their new home. Michael and Troy cut the doctor off and tell her that they don't believe in haunted houses. The therapist tells the couple that she does not believe in haunted houses too. However, she tells them that knowing what happened in certain places can affect a person's psyche. She cites why people see cemeteries as scary as an example. Dr. Grant tells the family that it can affect all of them. She also adds that she felt heaviness in the air when she came inside. The hour ends and the therapist starts to leave. The couple asks for another hour, but Dr. Grant tells them she already has another client waiting. She then asks if she can use the restroom before she leaves. As Dr. Grant leaves the room, Troy tells Scarlett that there won't be any slumber party tonight. Michael tries to explain the situation, but Scarlett gets angry and walks out. On the other part of the house, Dr. Grant leaves the restroom. She sees a red ball rolling and gets distracted distracted by it. She then hears things and asks if anyone is there. The sounds lead her towards the basement. As she looks up the stairs, she hears a voice saying that she will die there. She turns around and the rubber man slashes her neck. She then tumbles down the stairs. Later that night, Michael sees a bloodied rubber man suit. Michael and Troy then burn the costume in the fireplace. They both assume that the blood may be Scarlet's and that it may be that time of the month. In her room, Scarlet receives a text from Maya. Scarlet tells Maya that she is grounded because she accidentally stabbed her dad. Maya suggests and dares Scarlet to sneak out instead. Scarlet packs her things and heads downstairs. She tries to call her dads to confirm that they are asleep. She then successfully slips past her sleeping fathers and drives off. During the slumber party, Maya and her friends talk about different things. They then start talking about their generation getting labeled as superficial and fake. Maya then points out that Scarlet is the only one that stands up for her convictions. One of Maya's friends asks if it is because Scarlet prefers girls. Maya clears things up by saying that Scarlet is not officially out yet. Scarlet says she does not mind and explains her side. Maya and Scarlet leave the group to get some pajamas. Scarlet did not bring any pajamas because she snuck out. As Scarlet changes, Maya compliments her choice of lingerie. Scarlet answers that she wore them for her. Maya comes closer and they get intimate. Scarlet stops and questions Maya's intentions. Maya answers that she is serious. She also adds that the reasons do not matter. The two of them then continue making out. Scarlet admits that she is a virgin. Maya jokes around and says that she was counting on Scarlet to know what to do. She then asks Scarlet if she watches adult videos. Scarlet explains that the type of video she watches won't be helpful. Curious, Maya asks Scarlet to tell her about it. Scarlet then tells Maya that she is into violent stuff. Maya asks Scarlet for more information. Scarlet proceeds to discuss in full detail. As Scarlet talks, her phone starts chiming. She then finally checks on her phone after several notifications. As it turns out, the messages were from Shanti. Shanti is trying to tell her that everything is being live-streamed. After finding out the truth that she was set up, Scarlet gets her things and leaves. She walks past Maya's friends as they laugh at her. Once inside the car, Scarlet confirms everything with Shanti. She then cries over the humiliation. 
She asks Shanti what people are saying. Shanti asks her to not look instead. Scarlett goes home and decides not to wake her fathers up. Later that night, Scarlett calls Maya. She tells Maya that she intends to off herself. Maya does not believe her at first. Scarlett then tells her that she will leave a note explaining that Maya and her friends were the cause. She continues, saying that the letter will incriminate them. Scarlett then demands Maya and the group to go to her house in half an hour. As Scarlett ends the call, the rubber man suit is seen next to her on the bed. Outside of the murder house, Maya and her friends talk about whether they should go in or not. Maya insists and says they have to or they are all screwed. They all decide to go into the house together. The four girls warily enter the house through the open door. They are startled as the door slams shut behind them. Scarlett then sends a message to Maya telling her to go to the basement. As they make their way into the basement stairs, they see two young boys in front of them. The upper door locks them in as the two boys disappear into the dark. Maya tells her friends that Scarlett is probably filming everything to embarrass them. She then continues walking down the basement stairs. She starts calling out to Scarlett a couple of times. After finding a switch, Maya turns the lights on. The group turns into a corner and inspects it. The light suddenly flickers and darkens as they suddenly see a mysterious figure. As the group turns back in panic, they come face to face with Scarlett. Scarlett, who is now wearing the rubber man suit, starts stabbing them one after the other. The next day, Michael and Troy find Scarlett working on the wall. Scarlett tells the couple that she decided to help out. They then make up with each other. Michael invites Scarlett to breakfast and leaves with Troy. After her parents leave, a ghost of the therapist from earlier tells Scarlett that they need to have a session. Scarlett refuses and says that she never felt better. Scarlett starts to feel that she has resolved her problems. She leaves the room and finds the rubber man waiting for her. She smiles back and the episode ends. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.